monkey brain, 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 monkey brain. Hi, I'm Shannon Kringen, and I'm Goddess Kring, and I am Shannon Kringen and Goddess Kring, integrated into one whole person. And I want to talk to you about art, identity, and the sacred, and how I see them as related. Art, identity, and the sacred. What is art? Art is a language that I speak. Art is a container and art is a bridge. I get this feeling in my hands and really my overall body, this, this kinesthetic urge to create. And I hear poetry in my head and I write it down and I create and that is art. It comes from within. It's something inside that needs to be expressed in physical form. What is identity? The self, beyond the self, relativity, the relationship, the ship of relating, relationship. There's a, another container the self and beyond the self, the ego, the essence, the soul, finding the self. The more I look for myself, the more lost I am. I find myself by losing myself in doing what I love. What is the sacred? The sacred. You know, I'm a little bit dyslexic, and what's kind of cool is that sacred can sometimes be misspelled as scared. And it occurs to me that I think sacred is the opposite of fear. I think sacred is about love. So sacred and scared are similar. Just flip the letters around. I think that what's sacred is that which is beyond just the individual self, that which connects all of life. The plants, the animals. To me, science and God are the same thing. Spirit, science, nature, God. I've never been one of those people that thought I had to choose between nature or science or God. Science or God? Science or God? Spirituality or science? No. To me, it's all the same thing. The sacred the spiritual is natural, is nature, God is nature, nature is God. Science and nature are the same to me. So what is sacred is whatever I hold as valuable and whatever I love and that which connects me to the rest of the world, to the plants, the animals, and the fellow people, that is sacred. I think what is sacred is different to different people, but for me, that's what sacred is. So how do art, identity, and the sacred connect with each other? I think of art as a container and a bridge, and identity is my search for myself so that I may feel connected to everything else, and the art helps me find myself because I lose myself in making art because I love it so much. So I lose, I find myself by losing myself. So I find my identity by losing myself in doing what I love, which is making art. And then that is a bridge. So art is a container and then it's a bridge. And then it connects with the sacred because I take what I do and I love it and I find myself and then I share with the world around me and I feel connected to the sacred, which is the invisible energy that connects all life. 
and the fact that we all seem like separate little beings and we kind of are separate little physical bodies and molecules and yet we all need each other and we all give and receive like plants and, and animals um, like the oxygen that plants pump out and then human beings and plants have a yin-yang exchange and so it's sacred the connection between plants and mammals is sacred and the connection between the yin and the yang I'm interested in going beyond the duality of the opposites. I see the opposites as whole, as two sides of one coin. So art identity and the sacred all connect with each other in terms of that. It's like this holistic thing. You know, the, the inner self, the outer self, connecting with others, connecting with myself, losing myself by finding myself in doing what I love and then sharing it and feeling connected to plants, animals, and fellow human beings. And now I want to share with you some of my photography and my music that I made, as well as Hunderwasser, my favorite artist, who, um, Hunderwasser was an only child, and so am I. Hunderwasser was a loner, and so am I. And Hunderwasser was a naturist, and so am I. Uh, for a living, I model nude for art classes. Been doing that for 21 years. And Hunderwasser is this Austrian. He was an Austrian painter, philosopher, and architect who died in the year 2000. I took a train to Vienna, Austria, just to see his museum. Uh, it's a building that he designed himself, and it contains his paintings inside the building and he believed in, in buildings shouldn't have any straight lines and that architecture should be curvy and organic and look like it grows out of the ground and that this is both visually and aesthetically pleasing but he thought that it was deeper than that that actually having aesthetically pleasing buildings that look like they grow out of the earth would have a psychologically beneficial effect on human beings and I would agree I love organic shapes in buildings and artwork as well. The organic shapes in nature, the curvy spiral shapes of trees and plants. And so here's some Hunderwasser and some of my artwork as well. There's Hunderwasser, the man himself, the Austrian artist Hunderwasser that I admire so much. There's one of his buildings in a European city. And here's one of his paintings with the organic forms and shapes that mimic kind of an oniony shape with plants. And there's a building actually that has a rooftop garden that you can walk on. <laughs> Kali be gone, Kali be gone, Kali be gone. 
Tether no more, tether no more, more, more. Open the new door. Open the new door. Open the new door. Have the courage to shut the old door and open the new door now. Crumple still skin. Crumple still skin. Amazed at the orange munch. Crumple still skin. Stripe there. Volt this. Volty rinsing it off. Undulate morph melded. Zoom away. Crumple still chasing me feel like it's erasing me spirit you hear it spirit you hear it spirit you hear it healing energy come through me let me be the channel to the healing energy healing energy come through me let me be the channel to the healing energy black fire feather rain Straining the stream of consciousness again. Volcano ash erupting green. Enchanted fingers filter rain. 
Bada boo, bada bing, stinging rings the cring. Catch the wind song, spiral drive, crack the code, left and right node. I wander and I wander, tripping over grasshoppers, moon haulers, key robbers. Enchanted land, smoky hands, rough and cracked. Take this sand and stand alone, all one. I present the present, desert, the desert, exercise, bring, exorcism, cleanse. Shuk shaka, shuk shaka, shuk shaka. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing my artwork and Hunderwasser and hearing some of my experimental music. That was some of my poetry and also my voice backwards. I'm kind of fascinated by the abstract audio sounds of my voice backwards. It kind of reminds me, actually I was in Norway and it reminds me of the Norwegian language. My voice backwards sort of sounds Scandinavian to me and I am Norwegian myself. My ancestors came from Norway and Ireland mostly. And I would like to say thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and were inspired by it. And I invite you to do what you love because the bottom line is art identity in the sacred is all connected and natural. But really my overall message is it's important for human beings I think to do more of what they love because if more people are doing what they love then there'll be less anger and violence in the world. And for me it's a sacred path for me to, to make art and share it with others. That's my bliss. That's what I love. Um, and because of my art projects, actually, I've had amazing synchronicity happen because of my whole Goddess Kring persona, which I had a public access TV show for 15 years on TV every week called Goddess Kring. And I was interviewed by a bunch of different publications, and I got into the book Weird Washington, and I got sent to Europe a bunch of times. Fans of mine who appreciate my work um, ended up sending me to Europe, and I actually... Uh, published my own book called Art, Identity, and the Sacred, which I have for sale on my website if you're interested in that. And I just ask me or look for the link, uh, shannonkringen.com. And um, because of my art projects, because, you know, in, in some ways I'm kind of shy and afraid of, of uh, reaching out to people, but my artwork has given me a bridge to connect with others and to connect with the world around me and not be isolated. So art for me, and I got into figure modeling because of my art and meeting other artists. And figure modeling, I've been doing it for 21 years and it supports me. So figure modeling and traveling and amazing synchronicity, all because I was doing what I loved, which was to make art, to make video, to share it with people, to paint, to write poetry, to take photos put it on my website, share it with as many people as I possibly can. And I've had a, a tremendous amount of success in terms of networking and traveling and synchronicity and just amazing experiences. And it's all because of my art, all because of my creative work. And that has opened more doors for me than doing more conventional type things. So I'm curious to see where my career will take me. I'm not sure. Uh, now that I've earned my BA degree, I'm thinking, where am I going to go? Maybe I'll get a master's. I don't know what I'm really going to do, but I just know that if I follow my heart and I keep doing what I love, that'll lead me to where I want to go. So I, I, my message is to follow your heart and listen to your heart and do what you love and trust that that's going to lead you where you need to go. So art identity in the sacred is really about doing what you love. That's my version of me doing what I love, and so I urge you to get in touch with what your version is of doing what you love, and then do that and shine your light in the world. And that will take you where you need to go, and that will make the world a better place. That's what I believe. So thank you. My name is Shannon Kringen. Thank you, Goddess Kring. Thank you for listening. But you know what I'd really like to do? as opposed to grad school because truthfully I applied to two different MFA programs and they both rejected me and that's really kind of um, doors are being shut but I know that there's other doors that will open for me 
So I'm thinking about applying to grad school programs that um, incorporate art and healing. I don't want to be a therapist, though. I do not want to be an art therapist. But art and healing, spiritual growth, art and healing. But really what I want to do is travel around the world taking photos and I want to write a book about my life story because I've been to Australia and Mexico and Scotland and England, Austria, Belgium, France, England, oh, I already said that, um, Italy, um, a bunch of different countries, but I've never been to Asia or Africa or South America aside from Mexico. So I would love to just travel around the world, take photographs, do couch surfing, uh, which is an inexpensive way of traveling, and write a book. I want to write a book about my life. I want to write a book about my life. I've had really interesting life, unusual childhood, unusual parents, uh, unusual experiences as a figure model, um, traveling, artwork, my TV show, 15 years of my public access TV show, going to an alternative university, I've had a really kind of interesting, unusual life. I walk my cat outside without a leash. Um, I don't know. I just, I have all kinds of interesting things. I would love to write a book and sell it about my life. And I would love to take photographs and, because I'm a really good photographer, you know, I've never taken a photography class, but I have a background in graphic design and I'm really good with color and composition. So basically I'm a self-taught photographer. Um, but I know the rules of design and composition, and I'm a really, really good photographer. So there's got to be a way for me to make a living. So thank you for listening. I'm rambling, rambling, rambling. I'm a rambling woman. I'm a rambling woman, rambling woman. Oh, yeah. Rambling, 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 rambling. Okay. Follow your dreams. Follow your heart. I want to travel around the world and write a book and publish it and sell it and promote it and learn and heal and grow and continue inspiring people and allowing other people to inspire me. Life is an adventure. Making it up as I go. Thanks for listening. Namaste.